Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are doing a pretty much holiday inspired nail set. Now, obviously Thanksgiving is coming up and it's actually tomorrow. <laughs> and I wanted to wear these nails because I am in the holiday spirit. So I'm taking these uh, coffin shaped nail tips and I'm just applying some base coat to the inside and then curing it with my new favorite lamp. <laughs> this is definitely probably the nicest thing I've bought for my nails this year. It's super convenient and honestly, if you're doing gel X or any kind of like gel application, this is a must have. And I already went ahead and prepped my nails off camera. I did go ahead and do my cuticles as well as doing a thin layer of a reinforcement gel. Just because I am gonna start trying to grow my natural nails, I always cut them down to like nubs, but I do actually wanna start growing them out. So we are kind of on that journey now. And so what we're gonna do first is we are gonna just flash curing these nails and then we're gonna cure this in the lamp for 60 seconds in the big lamp. So once our tips are on and cured, I am gonna take just a little bit more base coat and I'm just gonna kinda put that where my natural nail and the tip meet. That way when I go to cut my tips and file them, I don't have to worry about my tips popping off by accident. That usually doesn't happen with this base coat method, but I just wanna be on the safe side and make sure it's extra strong. And we're gonna cure this in our nail lamp for about 30 seconds. All right, so once that's cured, we can go ahead and cut our tips. I'm doing like a medium long length today. These are, this length is pretty much my perfect length. I love wearing my nails this long. Um, and it's cool because I can still type at work and not look like I'm struggling. So this works out perfect for me. And once those are cut, we're just gonna go ahead, shape them and buff. So once our nails have been shaped and buff, we are going across the whole nail and we're taking just another layer of base coat. When you're doing hard gel nails, I highly recommend having a nice tacky layer just so that when you put the hard gel on top of your nails, it does flow evenly and smoothly. All right, so after we cure that, these are the builder gels that I'm using today. I have featured this Savalin kit on my channel before, but I wanted to go back in because the colors in this kit are gorgeous. You already know this will be linked down below, but we're taking three colors out of this kit. But if you want to see the full video, just check my channel. So we're going to go ahead and start off with this beautiful shade called Nude Pink and i love this color it's so much prettier than i ever imagined it's the perfect nude for me and i'm just taking that on a brush and i am putting down a slip layer this initial layer is going to just help make sure that the gel flows evenly and this gel is one of my favorite builder gels just because it does self level like very quickly and it's so smooth and perfect. And honestly, it's a very full coverage builder gel. And I just wanna mention my method may not be the best, but it honestly works out for me doing th it this way. Do it whatever way works best for you. As long as you can build the nails up, that's really all that matters. And definitely don't forget to hit the sides of the nails as well. And you're gonna to wanna to turn your nail over to make sure that the nail self levels. So once that first layer is cured, we are gonna go in with another layer. This time we're just booting up the thickness of the nail and creating a nice apex so that our nails stay on for long and do not break easily. And that's one thing I wanna mention is that 
I find my nails don't ever break. I remember when I used to go to the nail salon, my nails would, I would always break a nail at some point, but I find that I've been doing my nails recently and I never ever have to deal with my nails breaking. I don't know, does anybody else, does that happen to anybody else? Cause I feel like my nails don't break. <laughs> But when you're doing this, just make sure you're hitting those sidewalls. Make sure you are make, making sure the gel is nice and even. This gel is really nice because it does self-level. And once you flip it over, it helps build the best apex. So flip it and then of course cure it in your nail lamp for about 60 seconds. Okay, and on this nail, we're doing the same exact thing. We're just going to speed it up just a little bit because now you guys already know my technique and how I like to do my nails. And we're doing pretty much the same exact thing on this nail. And for this nail, I do do two coats, just like the first nail. Alright, so once that's done, I'm taking this beautiful glitter filter gel from the same kit. And as you can see, the glitters are gorgeous. I did want to mix it around just a little bit because some of the glitter did float to the bottom. So I'm just going to spin it around and make sure I get that glitter distributed. Now I'm going to go in and take that slip layer and as you will see, like this glitter is so gorgeous and I loved how it looked when it was thin, but I did want to build it up to be a full coverage glitter nail. And as you'll see, I'm doing kind of the same technique, just going side to side and making sure the gel gets evenly distributed and we can still start building up the strength of our nail. And of course, we're gonna go ahead and cure this in the nail lamp for about 60 seconds. So once that's cured, I am going in with just another layer of that glitter builder gel, doing the same exact technique of building up the nails and building a nice apex. Now this color was giving me like all of the feels. This was such a like sparkly, beautiful color, perfect for the holidays. Let me know what you guys are doing uh, for the holidays this year. Um, of course, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. So, well, actually, I think when I have this posted, it either might be Thanksgiving. I <laughs> don't know. Um, but I'm excited. I'm spending Thanksgiving with my family. So I'm super excited to eat and just kind of get to catch up and have some fun. So I'm super excited. Let me know down below what you guys are doing for the holidays because I know some people like to do stuff with family. Some people like to spend time alone. What are you guys doing this year? So as you'll see, I'm taking the white from this uh, kit. And it, what I like is that it's a nice milky kind of like thin white. But the cool thing is that it does build up. So the more that you add, the more opaque it is. But what I really liked was that it was a nice soft white, which is perfect for like 
ombre nails which this nail is going to be all right so once we cured that for 30 seconds i am going in with another layer and as you will see i am not starting where i originally started just because i don't need a lot of opacity right there because we are going to put a glitter in that space and we want to make sure the glitter does shine through And you'll see I'm just working that color down just a little bit so there's not a huge like line of demarcation between the two. Okay, so sorry the clip cut off on me adding the glitter. I apologize, but I promise all I did was just put the thinnest layer of glitter between that in-between space and a little bit on the white. I'm now taking that nude pink color and I am just gonna build, build that up into a nice ombre, working in nice small layers. And I do wanna go over the glitter just because I do want it to be a nice fade between the glitter showing and then being a little bit more like noticeable. Does that make sense? <laughs> I don't know, but I want it to kind of look like it's faded throughout. And what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you get all that nude poly, all that nude builder gel off of the white layer just because you don't wanna see the nude when you're looking at the white. I don't know why I'm getting like tongue tied today. I don't know, I had a nap earlier and it completely threw me off, so <laughs> I apologize. I'm still like waking up. All right, so now we got that ombre blended up some more. We're just gonna cure this in the nail lamp for about 30 seconds. So now we're just gonna tap on just a little bit more of that glitter, um, pretty much only to make it look like it is a nice ombre between the two. And adding this extra glitter definitely gave this look more definition. And then once that's done, we're just gonna cure this for about 60 seconds. So once it's cured and all the nails are done, I went ahead and did the, the thumbnail, that full glitter as well. I'm taking a builder gel in a bottle. Um, I don't know what I did with the clear that came in this kit. It does come with the clear. That's the one that was missing. Um, it's just somewhere in my nail table. But when I tell you my nail table is literally a disaster, <laughs> it's so crazy. So I got to clean it up and find that clear builder gel. Um, but what you're going to do is just go ahead and encapsulate the nails um, with the builder gel and make sure that we don't file into our nail design. And as you can see, I use this builder gel in a bottle a lot, so I am running low. So please let me know down below what your favorite builder gels in a bottle are. I want to start working with some more products. I know Savaland does make one. I have not tried it yet. Let me know if you have tried it and what you think. I already know it's good, but just let me know your thoughts if you have tried it or what your favorite builder gel in a bottle is. All right, so this is before filing. And after <laughs> we filed, I am gonna show you what we're really here for. This is the new Savaland Nail Art Gels. Y'all, look at all of these beautiful colors. Do you get 12 different colors of gel liners? Now, I'm gonna go in and show you guys the colors. This is honestly so nice because the brush is nice and thin. And even if you take off the product, you can get an even thinner brush. And I'm just going to go in and show you guys the colors of the of the gels.
love all the different beautiful colors i think this kit is just missing a true purple and that's it all right so now on to our design these are the nails after they have been filed and buffed i am just going in with a matte top coat it's always easier to do nail designs on top of a matte top coat just because it does just adhere a little bit better so i'm only putting the matte top coat on the two nails that I am going to be doing the nail art on. And of course, we're just going to cure this in the nail lamp for 60 seconds. Okay, so we are going to be doing some snowflakes today. I love snowflake nails. They totally put me in the winter spirit. And y'all, I am not a nail artist pretty much. I just do my own thing. And this was a little bit hard, but these liners made it so easy. The trick I found to getting nice thin lines is just taking off some of the excess product off of the brush and off of like the handle part. That way you can get some nice, clean, crisp lines without um, any extra polish being distributed on the brush. Now for doing a snowflake, you wanna do an X and then do a line down the middle. And then we're gonna just do like little V shapes on the lines that we did. There's plenty of different ways to make snowflakes. I definitely refreshed myself and watched a couple tutorials and honestly it was throwing me off because I knew how to make snowflakes and then I watched other people's videos and I was just putting all these techniques to use and I was struggling but this is the snowflake that works the best for me. And as you'll see, I'm just going back in and taking a little product off of like the bottle itself. And this worked the best to get the nice clean lines. And then cure for 60 seconds so we're gonna do one more snowflake and as you'll see this time I have a little bit more product on the brush which was not a bad thing it just made it the lines a little bit thicker but I honestly liked how it looked And once we perfect our snowflake, we of course are just going to cure the whole nail for 60 seconds. <laughs> Alright, so you'll see I put a little puddle of the gel on my paper towel. And I am just going to go in with my dotting tool and add on some little snow flurries. And I really like how this looked. And this was super easy. Um, I am no nail artist. I don't really have that like creative eye. At least I, I mean, I have a creative eye. I just don't think I have an artistic eye and it looks good. <laughs> so now we're working on doing a Christmas tree kind of situation. So 
I'm starting off with like a triangle pyramid shape and then as you'll see I'm kind of just going side to side and adding on my branches. And then just doing a nice line down the middle and oh I love how these turned out I don't know if they're cute or not but I really like how these trees turned out well how this how the singular tree turned out <laughs> and I don't want to mention I'm trying to do a giveaway on my channel for the holidays let me know what you guys would want for a giveaway if you would rather have it be like a whole kit or random items let me know so once i cured um this tree i am going in with that gold and i am putting on just little gold dots to look like ornaments um i kept them pretty small just because the golds are a little bit different from each other and honestly this was so cute i loved adding these little um details so once those nails have been cured, I am going to go in with top coat and just go ahead and top coat these nails. This glitter, y'all, this glitter came alive. This glitter is so freaking pretty. The perfect warm gold color. This was literally beautiful. And I'm doing a shiny top coat today. I think the matte would look good on these nails too, but I was kind of just craving a nice, like, glossy, feminine manicure, and I really liked how this looked. And I'm gonna go ahead and top coat my tree. I'm not finished with it, so definitely don't think this is the end of this video. I am gonna add one more detail that to me brings this whole look together. So once the nails are cured, I am going in with just some rhinestone glue and I'm putting it right above my tree because we are, of course, going to put a star on top of our tree. Duh. And I had these really pretty um, like champagne colored nail crystals. So I am taking this star and I'm putting it right on top of the tree where it belongs. And this was like my favorite thing ever. This was so cute. And once we get our star the way we like, we are just going to cure this for 60 seconds and then we're going to re-top coat it to make sure it's stuck in place. So after that's all been done, I am just finishing with some cuticle oil because my cuticles are crusty <laughs> and we are going to make these nails look gorgeous. All right, and now we're just gonna rub that in. And this is the final product, you guys. I love how these turned out. They're so perfect for Thanksgiving. I hope you guys have a happy Thanksgiving, a happy holidays, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video because we're just gonna start churning them out. Thank you guys for watching.